Thank you very much. Uh, I do think that Coach Royal was more or less correct when he made that comment about uh, luck happening when preparation meets opportunity. Uh, but, you know, there is just some pure luck in life, and a lot of mine's been associated with the University of Texas. I started out with two great parents who didn't have much money at all, uh, but they had a distinct appreciation for what education could do to advance one's position. And I realized, of course, in retrospect, that they made tremendous personal sacrifices so that I could be the first male on our line to get a college education. And so I ended up at the University of Texas, and I think one of the most useful things you learn at the University of Texas is how to multitask. By that I mean if you can handle a full course load uh, and have a part-time job and navigate all the social and uh, outdoor temptations in Austin, then when the time comes, you're going to be ready to do a good job at something. <laughs> and and uh, so one lucky thing happened to me. When I was 18 years old, I was standing in line at the old Gregory gym to uh, register for classes. And uh, there was this pretty girl standing in front of me, and uh, she turned out to be the girl. And, and uh, so that's... Uh, if we'd had big techs uh, and uh, online registration, my story would be completely different. <laughs> uh, but that, that was a good, uh, good match, and uh, we fortunately have had uh, two strong-willed and independent children. Not too surprising since they're both Texas graduates. And uh, we, uh, David and Elizabeth, my, our children, uh, brought into our family another UT graduate, Tenny Klein, and a WNL graduate, uh, Rogers Herndon, who's such a good son-in-law that we've forgiven him for being an LSU fan. <laughs> and so uh, Pam and I, and we also have here tonight uh, five of our seven grandchildren, Lola, Charlotte, Franny, Ellie, and Annie, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a future Longhorn there in that group. Uh, so Pam and I arrived at uh, the Texas Medical Center just about exactly 50 years ago. And the, uh, you know, UT has such a huge presence uh, in the Texas Medical Center, both in institutions and in Texas graduates that work there. Uh, it was a wonderful time for us. Uh, we were young and energetic and ambitious, and it was a great period of time in heart surgery. Of course, Dr. Cooley was a tremendous uh, role model for me, and we were all working 16 hours a day, month after month, year after year, and I don't remember being tired. Uh, and I owe a lot to many uh, nurses and other doctors and technicians in the medical center who have helped uh, things work out uh, for us. Now, I'll tell you that the truth of the matter is heart surgeons spend every day taking major risks with other people's lives. And uh, that will put a serious demeanor on your personality, I can tell you that. Uh, but uh, I've been fortunate in my life to be in that arena that Roosevelt talked about where you're trying to do something important. It isn't always easy, and the uh, victories are uh, personally very rewarding, and the rare defeats are painful, very painful. But the bottom line is we've been able to help uh, tens of thousands of people. Uh, I've trained, learned from, or taken care of people from every walk of life and from just about every country in the world and it broadened my horizons uh, substantially. Uh, there are a lot of people in this audience tonight who have been uh, our friends uh, and mentors, or both, and uh, we uh, are deeply appreciative of those friendships. It's been a major, major part of our lives. And 
I owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to the University of Texas for providing me for the basis, a basis for what life was to bring in the future, and I'm immensely grateful. Thank you. Put the hand.